Good morning, happy hazy Monday from Costa Texpina. We're on build day number 48. Um, main focus for this week for these guys is gonna be to continue the uh, lentil beams, the ones that are remaining in the bedroom two and Jack and Jill area. And then once those are completed, uh, to get them up to uh, roof beam height uh, shortly thereafter. The rest of the house in the main area, uh, they're working on the rebar for the support beams uh, to support the attic floor. Uh, so once they get that up to speed, um, we'll take a look at it as it goes through. All right, um, let's get started. Let's take a quick walk around this morning. Uh, looks like we're continuing with some of the fill material. Uh, what's remaining here, uh, we are getting fairly low on the fill, fill, so they'll bring in another truck here soon. <coughs> they are removing the, uh, they removed the form from the column that they poured on uh, Saturday afternoon. Turned out really nice, uh, this column here. We'll get up close to it here. looked really good so we're continuing with the rebar production the, the, <clears throat> the steel bars and the uh, support beams for the center section uh, they've got all of this done for around the kitchen area uh, the next step is going to be to take it from the top of the dirty kitchen over the living room area over the large picture window and it should match up in with the support beam down at the end okay in this section down here let's take a look at it from inside the garage lots of mortar which means lots of blocks so mr justin and mr alex are working uh, hollow block wall up to the uh, roof beam height Mr. Pablo up there helping out where he can Mr. J trafficking mortar from place to place And then I believe they were also working To remove the forms from the concrete beams that we poured also on Saturday afternoon Good morning. Concrete good, looks good, no? Some... All right. And the rest of the work, they will be doing some more here for the bay window. So he's removing the forms now. We're going to see how it holds up. Should be well. Um, and then they will continue with the hollow block. Uh, along the sides. There's only going to be three openings for windows in the middle. Alright, let's take a mid-morning walk around. Um, we are now working on the back side of the maid suite. So this is the west wall of the maid suite. Uh, they're going to be uh, continuing this three course of the hollow block around the side up to the roof beam and we're still working the column in the living room as well as the rebar support beams going across the picture window and across the breakfast nook area that'll be to support the attic floor uh, you all saw just a moment ago we got a large pile of fill material plus extras 
Um, they're using that to fill in some of the spots in the house that still require a little fill material. Still building forms for the lintel beams through bedroom two in the Jack and Jill bath. And still working on the bay window in the front. Go to a post-lunch walk around. Uh, Mr. Justin, Mr. J, and Mr. Edmund are working the block wall above the lentil beam, getting it up to roof beam height. Uh, this is again near the uh, west wall of the maid's suite. Take a look around, see what everybody else is up to. Coming around the north window, north wall. Okay, now the bay window on the eastern wall. Mr. Jericho is still working the bay, the bay window. And Mr. Marvin and Mr. Ben are working the forms in the Jack and Jill bath uh, for the lintel beam on it. Mr. June staying busy hauling um, fill material into the house. got Mr. Jojo, Mr. Wilson, Mr. Orland, and Manny all working the support beam going across the breakfast nook and the large picture window. And again this is going to help support the uh, attic floor slab. It's like uh, Mr. Alex is still working the uh, hollow block above the dirty kitchen.
pouring the concrete for the last set of beams, almost the last set of beams, inside the Jack and Jill bath between bedroom two and bedroom three. So they've got these to pour. There's uh, a cross wall between just to uh, Mr. Oliver's left, your le his left, our right. Take a look through. So then he's still got that beam right there. This beam here. The beam right there. And then Mr. Jericho's working our bay window. Looking good. Mr. Jojo and Mr. Wilson are helping out uh, Mr. Manny and Oliver with the support beam fabrication. This is going from the living room slash um, master suite on the other side of that wall. Uh, this goes over the big picture window overlooking the porch across the top of the breakfast nook ties into the dirty kitchen area uh, right here and then it'll come across uh, tie in all of this from the kitchen and head back across over there there will be one or two additional support beams running the short route all right Pouring the column on the other side of the great room. So they'll pour it in. Once they get a couple buckets in, they'll start tapping the bottom. This will probably be the last thing poured today. The inside of the bay window is looking really good, very clean. Mr. Jericho is doing a great job with this. Alright, finally at the end of the day, we're able to see Nana Riot. It's been a hot, hazy, humid Monday today. Um, temperatures were up in the mid-90s. Uh, with humidity it felt like it was well over a hundred um, feel bad for the poor guys these guys are out here out in the middle of the heat in the direct Sun all day long not a complaint single one at all um, kept lots of water going through them so they're they're gonna do well um, got a lot done today um, more of the support beam going across the top uh, of the picture large picture window uh, got extended all the way over to the uh, dining room, I'm sorry, the breakfast nook and over the dirty kitchen. Uh, that'll get connected back to the, uh, the regular kitchen side um, on the underneath side of the pantry or above, oh, sorry, above the pantry. Um, part of our bay window, most of our bay window got formed today. Let's take a quick walk over here and I'll show you how that ended up for the end of the day. So you can see here, we're gonna have hollow block walls on the outside edges. Uh, the two bars you see sticking up in the middle are gonna be formed and poured. Uh, so those, those will be poured uh, sections and then the windows will go in between. Uh, it's up already to lentil beam height, so that'll get formed up tomorrow. And then they'll finish pouring the rest of it around the um, bedroom two's uh dirty oh sorry bedroom two's walk-in closet and their uh lavatory 
So most of the rest of the uh, beams got poured throughout bedroom three, so it's done. So this bedroom two area is the uh, last area to be getting the beams poured. So we're at about 95, 96% for uh, having all the beams poured. The uh, block wall above these, uh, above the lentil beam going up to the roof beam height is following along closely behind. Uh, the guys are working their way over from the uh, dirty kitchen uh, coming this way, coming uh, towards the front of the house now. Uh, it's been, been busy, busy Monday. Uh, you wouldn't know it was a Monday as fast as these guys are working. They're, they're jamming it. Um, so, um, it, it's fun to see. It's good to watch. Uh, satisfying. So, um, that's about it for what they had wrapped up today. Um, if you like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, uh, hit the subscribe button down in the bottom right hand corner or the Costa Tex Pina Star, also bottom right hand corner of your screen. If you'd like to be notified when our next video has been uploaded for your viewing pleasure, hit the bell icon just below the view screen and you'll be notified of the next upload. Until then, have a great afternoon and God bless. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.